Um, so if they're no good, it's on me. I'm the one that chose them. Are you kidding me? All right, good morning, everyone. So this is the drive back down to Los Algodones, Mexico to pick up my glasses. So I will um, capture some video. This is a drive down 95 from Quartzsite down south past Yuma and then over to the, the border crossing. The drive down 95 is really quite uneventful. I'm going to call it boring. It's um, flat, 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 with not really a lot of things to see. So I probably won't film a lot of video during that leg of the journey, but uh, once we get down close to the border crossing, I think that's where uh, things are interesting. Okay, folks, check in with you later. Okay, so this is Plumosa Road, and we're coming up to 95 up here. So I really like this um, Plumosa BLM area here. You know, you compare it to um, Skadden Wash, where I spent, I probably spent six weeks down Skadden Wash. Compare this road here, I'm doing 40, 45, 50 miles an hour. Compare this road to that nasty, torn up road that you have to drive to get to Skadden Wash. So this is quite a contrast. So I just pulled out of our campsite. I'm three to four minutes elapsed time and here's I'm on Route 95. And then it's another uh, three or four minutes into town. So this Plumosa, this has become my new go-to spot here for Quartzsite. No more scad and wash. So cross the cattle guard. Ready? Boom, 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 boom. There we go. All right, so now we will turn left, which is south on 95. Overdrive. About 45 miles an hour it hits into overdrive. That's pretty standard. All right, I'm gonna cut off the video here. Not a lot to see. We will make our way through court site. I don't need anything. I have plenty of fuel. Uh, so we're just gonna pass right through court site and head on down 95 south and make our way down towards Yuma. Okay, folks. So this is the town of court site. We are coming up to the uh, Interstate 10.
the last stretch before we get to the parking area. So we have uh, about five miles to go. We get off at exit 166. So here we go. Now last weekend when I came to go to the optometrist, there were police all up here for some reason, like there was a policeman right here waving me on, and then there was another one on the other side of the bridge waving me on. It's very strange. I don't know what was going on, but I didn't see anything. Yeah, so you'll start to see some cars up here parked along the road. Oh, and by the way, weapons and ammo are illegal in Mexico. And then there's a sign about weed right here. Medical marijuana prohibited into Mexico, prohibited into USA. So these people have parked and then walked their way. It's not too far. You can see the border crossing right up there. And that's then you can't park anymore. That's that's the closest you can park right back there. So we'll make our way up here to the entrance. Six dollars for cars, pickups, trucks. Hey, Lefty, come on, buddy. Thank you. Very nice of her. So I'm sure this parking lot gets really filled up during the busy time. And in fact, I remember the one time we came about six, seven weeks ago, it was packed. I just kind of pull up where there's a little bit of bushes so he can lift his leg. Lefty's going to stay in the truck, and we're going to make our way up here to the optometrist to get this over with. driving out of Mexico, crossing into the U.S. right there. And that's the checkpoint. So as soon as you go through this turnstile, you're in Mexico. Oh. 
Whoa! That was loud. No, I'm good, thank you. And we're done, and we're headed back across. So you hear them calling out pharmacy, optometrist, dental. Dental is a big one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we made it through, and then you're funneled through this corral after you go back. I just went through the, the U.S. border customs, told them I picked up some glasses, and then you're funneled through this corral here. And this is not a hugely built up border crossing here. Oh, they got some guy busted over there against the fence, a couple of border guards. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Never seen that before. You don't see that in Rochester, New York. Oh. So we'll scoot up this ramp to the right here. Get back out there to the truck, make sure Lefty's doing okay. There you go. Hi! Hi! Oh, that's my boy. Okay. 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 There's my boy. Hi! Oh, you got, you got your bone bone, huh? Okay, buddy. So the camera's on. Are you ready to see my new glasses? So here they are. I, you know, I just think I look like a goof because I've never worn glasses. So these are progressive lenses. That's the word. So through the top, they have basically nothing because my distance vision was really good. Uh, but then down here, it's like having a, a 100x magnifying glass. Um, so talk about something I've got to get used to. Oh, yeah, I got to get used to these things. If I don't tilt my head to look at something that's a little bit far away, I start looking through these lenses and then it's like I just drank 14 beers, you know. <laughs> so you all are going to have to let me know what you think. I shot my daughter a picture real quick and she says, oh, I liked them. I think she's being kind, <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm not settled on them yet. Obviously, I picked the frames out. Um, so if they're no good, it's on me. I'm the one that chose them. So I hope you enjoyed the video uh, of the trip down to Mexico. If you, if, you, if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, please. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you all so much for watching the videos and leave me a comment about the glasses and let me know what you think, okay? Thanks everyone, bye-bye.